Hello there. Namaste. This is the trailer for Heramandi, the Diamond Bazaar. Okay. I, I'm. <laughs> that's all I need to know, I guess. Is it action? Is it adventure? Science fiction? I mean, looks like a period piece. Fiction, most likely. What is with these shots? I mean, that alone is... is... I, I love... I love when they do like these artsy shots. I mean, look at all those mirrors. There's got to be something that's that's meaningful in each one of these mirrors. It's got to have something to do with something that's in the film. Because they have a in the 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 this one here, it's a portrait. This one here, it's a portrait. Uh, I don't know what it is here. I don't know what it is here. She's laying reading a book. Again, don't know, don't know. Some window thing and another window thing. They're they're way over here way over here off to where you can't see i mean that's just beautiful so these tawives are very powerful and they have the nawabs under their thumbs Whoa, what's going on? <laughs> so it's basically about how the courtesans courtesan courtesan however you say that word i don't want to use the worst word uh have too much power i mean they only have the power you allow them to have that's the thing i go what's the mindset the it's the oldest job uh, oldest profession in the world why there, people will pay for what there's money if people stop paying for something there wouldn't be any money in it. There would be no power in it. So it, it it's funny how it's just like they have power. It's like they only have power because it's given to them. <laughs> I love the artsy shots though. Even though I don't know what's going on, the arty, ar arty, artsy shots are worth it. Absolutely worth it. Sharafat, we left it. Love has left us. Now, only love can give us our life. Once again, I'm not a slave. I'm becoming a country. This is a fictional story, but it actually seems pretty interesting, you know, from the, the basically the women, the, the lower caste, I guess, the, the courtesans are standing up to to free themselves i i i don't know it's a series it, it looks interesting especially the shots i i the cinematographer does, is absolutely amazing in this one he he goes for all these nice shots like there's that one where the lady's clo cloaked in black 
and then everyone else who's cloaked in black has turned their backs to the camera and they're all walking away out of focus as she is still in focus. I mean, those are beautiful shots. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it's about. I am so confused. It's I'm going to go on a limb and say it's definitely not a true story, but I like those kinds of things. You know, the re revisionist histories, but they have to know, let people know revisionist history because there are a lot of people who will watch things and go like, that's really what happened. I was like, I mean, just what happened when uh, Black Panther came out? What was one of the most Google search things that just shows the intellect of people? Exactly. That just shows the intellect of people. So you have to let people know, sadly. Kind of like in a lot of the, the films in India where it says CGI. They have to put CGI because there will be people that believe it is real. There, there have always been people who believe that it's real. No matter how old the films are, no matter how bad the CGI is, there are people who will believe that. Like maybe the camera is just out of focus or something. There are still people in, uh, who would watch a film and think everything there that's playing out could be possibly real. You never know how people's minds work. But yeah, yeah. I mean, things are happening in a galaxy far, far away, which has been burned to the ground by Disney. <laughs> Yeah, but it, it looks, uh, honestly, I would watch it for the cinematography. Uh, only for the cinematography. I don't know about the story. I don't know if I'd be interested in caring for the story. It looks like more of a darker tone. It looks like more of a gritty. They're going. It looks like it's going more of the, the darker. Everything's going the darker Game of Thrones route. And I don't, I always like the, the more happier type of shows. The I, I'm going to say it. I like the arrows. I like the Smallvilles. I like, yes, those are superhero based, but I enjoyed, especially Smallville. Smallville was a masterpiece. Lois and Clark, you know, that kind of stuff. Again, the superhero stuff, but still, th those are those are fun, lighthearted. This is dark. The cinematography is just perfect. Absolutely perfect. You got, you got to give props to where, you got to give credit where credit's due and the cinematography who's the cinematography dp sound design screenplay production design editing dialogue costume lyrics background vfx trailer uh action director makeup film max di casting catering accountant marketing music is associate what the visual pro no no music executive producer creative Original concept. How can... Oh, director of photography. D the DOP. D-O-P. Okay. It's either Sadeep, um, Mahesh, Mahesh, uh, Haug Hanstang, or Ga Ragul. Ragul. I'm not going to pronounce their whole names, but those are their first names, I guess. And they are... <laughs> Masters of what they do. Maybe maybe select one just did all those epic shots. He was more of the artistic kind of cinematographer. And you have the others in for like action or but whatever. But yeah, the, the directors of photography, they're they're doing an amazing job. Then again, an end of there. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Doodles.